Hey friends, welcome to the channel. This video will go through a quick introduction to reinforcement learning, how reinforcement learning is applied for drilling optimization and discuss advantages in terms of its generalization ability. My name is Ruslan, I am the CTO and for many years I've been developing and launching AI-based solutions for various aspects of oil and gas. As a person or a team in charge of oil and gas development optimization, they need to determine the optimal number of wells, their drilling sequence and location. It is hard work since this strategy has to satisfy operational and economic constraint and they are stuck with running endless simulations with optimization that take ages to complete. That might result in choosing suboptimal drilling locations because we would not be able to go through different scenarios. It would mean wasting a lot of money and probably the team's reputation. The paper that I would like to cover today presents a framework for using reinforcement learning that outperforms conventional methods by 88% based on the attained net present values. Potentially, it might give results in a fraction of a time compared with the traditional optimization methods. Reinforcement learning for me is the most exciting subject in artificial intelligence. A deep neural network is only a part of the solution. In the case of computer vision, it can learn to segmentation, translation or detection on the pictures, but still it cannot act on this understanding from that representation. And here comes reinforcement learning. It equips a deep network that understands the environment to make decisions and optimize the objective functions. Many industries have high hope for reinforcement learning, but it seems that oil and gas community underestimates the benefits for now. I'm saying that because I don't see many publications about this area. Maybe it's too advanced or maybe we don't know how to implement it. Anyway, we get used to hearing about reinforcement learning applied to solve some challenging but very distant problems from oil and gas, like mastering games such as Go, Chess and Dota. Machines were able to supersede humans in terms of creativity and actual raw performance by using in some cases just raw sensory information essentially pixel values. As much as I love this topic, I would like to keep this video about the actual application of reinforcement learning for field development optimization. I would dive into explaining the reinforcement learning subject in details with all the challenges and perspective in oil and gas in a dedicated video. Stay tuned to that. As a takeaway from this video, I would like to have an intuition about reinforcement learning. The reinforcement learning method is built around an agent that acts in an environment and receives a reward for taking actions. It then works in a modified environment caused by its actions. The reward that an agent gets might be positive or negative and we are responsible for defining the reward structure that would punish an agent for one type of action and rewards for the other. And an agent tries to maximize the cumulative sums of all the rewards until the termination state is reached. A reinforcement learning agent learns an optimal policy that guides which action to take from this trial and error process. The policy is simply a mapping based on deep networks what action to take in the environment. All right, let's move into the application part. As we know, drilling wells is a high investment procedure and drilling to recover little or no oil is nearly catastrophic for some companies. We will try to answer where to drill a well and a sequence of drilling steps to maximize net present value. This paper aims to train a reinforcement learning agent for two-phase flow that can provide optimal solution for different field development optimization scenarios with variable reservoir properties, operational constraint and economic condition. The hope is that an agent would learn the dynamics of fluid flow and transport on a training reservoir and provide enough generalization to be applied to other reservoir without any retraining. As I quickly showed already, the reinforcement learning setup consists of an environment and an agent that work in a predefined sequence 
All right, let's talk about the environment. The environment has to provide a medium for an agent and evaluate actions with positive or negative response. A medium, or better call it a state, might be supplied as a set of variable conditions or any other type of information that would be sufficient for an agent to make decisions in an environment. Since in the case of reservoir engineering and planning wells, we might not go on the field and collect a lot of cases in a trial and error fashion, but instead we can use a pretty accurate representation of the reservoir dynamics with reservoir simulation. In case from the paper, they define a reservoir environment as a 3D two-phase flow reservoir system, which allows modeling reservoirs with an aquifer. There is a restriction of the driving force. They considered only the primary depletion. Thus, all the wells has to be drilled up production wells. The environment also puts some operational constraints, such as maximum liquid production, drilling duration, and water cut limits. The reward function for an agent is defined by the economic objective function such as net present value. That means that the environment would evaluate actions taken by the agent based on how they contributed to economic well-being. As state information that an agent will use to make decisions, they have selected a set of dynamic and static parameters. Some parameters vary in 3D space and hence has to be supplied as 3D information. To conclude this part, the environment is a reservoir simulator that provides a reference point for an agent about the state of the simulation and then evaluates the agent's action based on the net present value objective function. All right, let's move on describing an agent. An agent is a neural network that predicts which action would bring more reward and maximize cumulative reward over its lifetime. The environment provides 3D distribution of pressure and other information as a state variable. Since the problem looks like evaluating spatially uneven distributions, the authors propose applying the computer vision technique for agent training. This convolutional network receives a collection of 3D images from the reservoir simulation as input. It outputs a decision on which action to take. The agent determines actions to be taken in each drilling stage that include whatever to drill or not. If to drill, the ideal well location is picked among the available drilling locations given by the NX and Y map. And here, an important issue. We can train an agent to work on a specific geological property, but to make a network understand the reserve physics more, then we have to train it on various types of a geological reservoir condition. The authors created many scenarios describing geological structure rock and fluid properties, operational constraints and economic conditions. The wells are assumed to be always vertical and fully penetrate all the reservoir layers. With all of the understanding of reinforcement learning, let's see the author's result on this optimization task. Here I will talk about 3D case only. The 3D grid has a dimension of 40 by 40 by 3 layers. Of course, it seems small, but it's enough to make a point if the method works or not. So, after the training on approximately 2 million simulations, you can see the performance start pumping up, with the average in PV increasing as the training progresses. It proves the point that the agent can learn the field development logic. Moreover, entropy loss decreasing as the training advances, indicating that an agent takes more intentional actions rather than random ones. The performance of the best agent is also compared with the four reference well patterns for a set of random field development scenarios. As we can see on the screen, the reinforcement learning agent 
outperforms the well pattern method in approximately 88 of the cases considered. Here you can see well configurations proposed by the best AI agent for the free random field development scenarios. All right, let's talk about the generalization. Reinforcement learning absorbs reservoir properties and hence generalizes well to different reservoir conditions, economic situations or operational constraints without retraining. Conventional optimization algorithms are typically used to find a solution for a specific field development scenario and commonly are not generalizable to different systems and solved separately for each petroleum field due to variations in geological models or even economic conditions, and rightly so. I put high hopes on reinforcement learning. There is a playlist of different AI ML applications in oil and gas, consider checking it out. Thanks for watching this video, see you next time!